The following story has been brought to you by storiestoinspire.org. I want to tell you what happened to a wonderful young lady, happened to have been a family member of mine who lives in Israel. She comes from a very large family of 12 girls in the family. And I know the father very well. Not a wealthy individual at all. He's a Kolel guy. They live in a very small apartment with his 12 daughters. And his oldest daughter, it was time for her to find a shiduch. And she was out there, she was dating to her best of her ability. And it just wasn't going, to say the least. It was very frustrating for this poor girl. And at that time she started getting a little bit older. She started losing hope. She started second-guessing herself, destroying her own self-image by nothing that really she was guilty of. Simply because, at times... Through the dating process, people can get very hurt in all different types of ways. One day she just gave up. She just threw her hands in the air and she said, that's it, I give up. You know what? It's not so bad to be single. I'll just go on with my life. When her father heard that, he was heartbroken, seeing his daughter. And no one to go out with her. No one wanted to go out with her. So the father turns to his daughter and says, Go to Rabbi Abu Hatzera, the great Mikubal, the great Sadiq. And she listened. And she went out to Rabbi Abu Hatzera. And Rabbi Abu Hatzera turns to her and says to her, Purim is only two weeks away. Do you know how the little children dress up on Purim? Are you ready for this? He told her, he told her that Purim, that her costume is going to be a beautiful white wedding gown. I know, I know to me, when I heard the story, I was laughing. I was mamash laughing. I thought it was as comical as they come to even think of this girl prancing around Harnoff in a white wedding gown. On Purim, delivering Mishloch Manot. It was hilarious. It was a sight to see. But can I tell you how I found out about this story? I found out about this story because this girl's father calls me to America. Ecstatic, elated. He tells me, you have to hear this. We get a Mazal Tov. I said, really? What happened? My daughter is a bride. I said, Mazal Tov, how is that? He said, the Rebbe... Rabbi Hatzera told my daughter this past Purim to walk up and down the streets in a, in a beautiful white wedding gown. And one of the homes that she went to deliver Mishloach Manot in a wedding gown, the mother who opened the door, she looked at her and she said, You're such a beautiful bride. You know, what do you think about going out with my son? On Purim, delivering the Mishloach Manot. In her wedding gown. I mean, they could have gotten married right there on the porch. <laughs> right there on the marpeset. You ever see those Harnoff marpesets? They're usual. Huge. It's the size of a wedding hall. They could have just walked around onto the marpeset. <laughs> Boom! Unbelievable. She went out with this guy right after Purim. Only a few weeks later, she was engaged, a bride. What a day! What an unbelievable day. Every minute counts on this day. A day that Rosh Hashanah Kippur is trying to be like. What a day. Purim. This is the day to make count. The opportunities of Purim are off the charts. Enjoyed this story? Come again. Bring a friend. StoriesToInspire.org